Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do uh, what I should have done yesterday, but I didn't because I got super distracted with Call the Midwife. Have you seen that show? It's so good. It's on Netflix. But back to what we want to do today, which is set up February. I have right here my Rhodia web notebook. It's starting to look a little beat up for sure. Just a little though. I have already done what I usually do, which is sketch things out. And I am trying some new stuff, as I mentioned on my January flip through. But what I'm gonna do is quickly show you what is it that I have so that if you are interested in how I do it, you can stay tuned. Uh, here I have what you can call the traditional monthly log. And then I have a little small tracker here strictly for my dogs because this space right here to the right of the page ends up not being used anyway. So it worked out pretty well for January and I'm definitely gonna keep it up for February. Here. I have something very new to me. It's like a different calendar. It's like to the side, like the days are right here. The reason I wanted to try this is because in the past I've done this on two pages and I feel like that space is not entirely necessary. And I thought, why not put it right next to the other monthly log? I think it's gonna work out really well. Next, I have uh, my habit and mood tracker. It's gonna stay pretty much the same as January. I'm gonna have my mood tracker down here and my habit tracker right here. And then I decided to move my bills over to this page. I've decided to just take out the goal section that I used to do because I find that I don't refer to it at all and it kinda is just forgotten. And here I'm actually gonna divide the sections even more. I used to only have three sections to it. But now I'm gonna divide each one. So I have my due date, my account, the date that I paid it, how much I paid, and the balance. And then down here, I'm gonna have the bills that start coming in for March. And then here I have my first week. <laughs> um, this is going to be January to February 5th. Because it includes February, I decided to go ahead and move it to the February month. That is what I tend to do. And I've kind of kept this the same, move things around a little bit from my last week. The supplies that I will be using are gonna be the ones that I have been using for the most part, which is my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens, and it's these right here. I have it in medium, in super fine, and then in extra super fine. I don't use the brush much unless I want to fill out some fake calligraphy <laughs> um, strokes, I guess you can say. And then another thing that I've really been enjoying using is this Micron, Pigma Micron. Um, I feel that this writes a whole lot smoother for me than the super fine tip on this one, or than the extra super fine. Aside from those, I will use my super tiny ruler, which is this one right here. And this one is from James and Friends. I did a video on the stationery a couple months ago, wise, a few months ago, but I'm gonna include that link uh, somewhere as well if you are interested. Then of course my eraser, this is the Faber Castell eraser that I got um, actually when I was in Spain. I managed to find a stationery store, kind of. A school supply store, I guess you can say, and I got this eraser that I love, 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 love. And yeah, that's the stuff that I'll be using. And as usual, I will be also using this, but you will most likely not see these <laughs> being used. These are the colors that I use for my color coding. It's the reason that I keep everything pretty much with black pen because these add a whole lot of color to my bullet journal in a way that to me makes it more efficient and productive. Another thing that I have to do is pick a washi tape for February. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. So first things first I'm gonna do is uh, work with the washi tapes. I like to put the washi tape right on this one because that way when I flip through it, I can go, I can see this side or this side, but if I put it on this one, I'll most likely end up on the previous week and I don't want that. So let's go ahead and try out the super thin washi tape. It's exactly the size I need it because it doesn't go onto my habit and mood tracker header or my calendar right here. So that worked out perfectly. I'm gonna put the scissors away. 
All right, next, uh, what I do like to do is for big headers, I like to use my medium brush tip so that way it is thicker and it does stand out. I debated on doing this in French, but you know, I should do it in French. And what I like to do on this spread right here is with a super light gray, I like to separate the weeks as well as the sections for this tracker. And I'm gonna also go ahead and enclose the whole log. All right, so now that that's done, I am gonna go ahead and erase all the pencil marks. Uh, this tracker right here, if you do have dogs, it might be helpful for you. The reason I do it is because one of my dogs usually needs a lot more attention than the other one because she has a whole bunch of allergies. So um, here I have bath for the two of them, nails, ears, and butt because their anal glands sometimes need to be expressed. And I can't do that, so I take them to the vet. And on this spread, what I like to do is I like to write down birthdays, holidays, um, important dates, maybe appointments that I might have, or trips um, that I might need to take. So everything goes on this page. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to this one. Super excited about this one. I use my super fine fabric castell really hate it when like I go over something that I wasn't supposed to. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do my key here just to kind of let you know. Play it off cool. We're gonna try. <laughs> all done, a little messy, but they're done. And I debated of doing the days facing that way, but I feel like that would bother me. I want it all to face me. Although I have this facing that way, so maybe I can do that. Nope, I'm gonna have to do it this way. <laughs> it's the only way that is gonna make sense to me, so. <laughs> all right, so that's done. Monday through Sunday in French, because you know, I'm trying to trying to get French in my life. <laughs> All right, and I'm not gonna make the mistake that I did last month, which was use my Tombow Gray that is way too dark for what I wanted to do. This, what I wanted to do last month is use this same gray right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and erase all the pencil marks as usual. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next part of my monthlies, which is my habit and mood tracker. I am pretty much gonna just keep it the same. First, I'm gonna do the header with my medium flower castell. And now I'm gonna go ahead with my, I just love my Micron. So I'm just gonna use my Micron in, oh, I don't think I mentioned it, but this is an O2. I'm gonna go ahead and use that light gray again. So for my habit tracker, um, I talked about this on my January flip through, but I decided to shrink it down. One, because I wanted to fit a mood tracker that I really enjoy doing in January. And two, because I realized that there are some habits that I don't really need to look at in a monthly view, if that makes um, sense. Like the reason I do the trackers is because I like to have the big picture of things. And certain things, I don't necessarily need to see it in a monthly big picture, <laughs> I guess you can say. So there are some things that I move to track weekly and I really actually like that because it works out for me and it kind of like shows me how productive I've been and what areas I need to work on to be more productive. Uh, for my monthly tracker, the things that I am tracking is my vitamins, if I take them every morning, uh, my morning pages. Uh, so if I write in the morning or anytime during the day, really, it kind of 
make it count as a morning page. If I work out, if I edit, because I do edit for work, so I want to make sure that I am at least editing four to five days of the week, um, if not every day. <laughs> and then also when I publish a YouTube video for my channel, and blog posts. And then also very important uh, when do I talk to my mom and when I talk to my dad, because they're my parents, I feel like I talk to them every day and obviously that's not true and I don't want it to not be true. So every time I do talk to them, I make sure I mark it to know when is it that I am not talking to them because that should not be happening. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to my mood tracker. I am gonna, this is gonna be easier um, because I already have the days of course that correspond with it. I'm just going to do the outline. We are done with the habit and mood tracker. For the mood tracker, I decided to mix two things that I saw, two concepts, I guess you can call them, that I saw on YouTube. And one is from Plannerholics. She does like an energy levels uh, tracker. And then I saw it also from, I think her Instagram tag is Brooklyn Michelle. And uh, she does um, also a kind of mood tracker that inspired me to do the graph thing. And so I kind of took both of them and kind of like merged them so it could fit to more of what I think will be more useful to me. And to me is dividing it into four sections. Um, and then each section has two different sections. <laughs> so I have my first section, which is uh, excited and happy, then content and mellow, followed by sad and anxious, and at the very bottom, stressed and angry. I can't really measure my mood in numbers. It's hard for me to do that for some reason. So instead I have these words and I have these faces right here that kind of help me map out my mood. And uh, that's what I do. Um, also throughout each day, I will usually do at least two points. Um, so I'll do like, for example, in the morning on Wednesday, I might be feeling content and mellow. So I'll do a point right there. And then maybe later that night, something happened throughout the day and then I'm just like feeling totally down. So then I'll do another point right there and I kind of have like a view of, oh, my day started great and then didn't end so great. So that's kind of like how I do my mood tracker. Um, and it's been working great for me. I really like seeing the graph. I'm into graphs a lot, so I like seeing how that goes. But that is my mood tracker. That's a brief overview. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the easy part, or kind of easy, it's faster than the other ones. And this is my bill section. So let's go ahead and move on with that. All right, so that is that. It is my bill section. These kind of used to be together, these together, and then this one, but I decided to, just because I want to change things up, uh, make its own section for that. What I like to do is as soon as I receive notification, usually by email of when my bills are due, I'll write down the date and what account it is. Sometimes if I have an amount due for it, I'll write it right here. And then I go ahead and do the date paid, which is when I actually paid it. Sometimes I'll do it before and sometimes I'll do it late. So I wanna make sure I take a note of that and how much I paid because sometimes I do the minimum payment and sometimes I like to do more than the minimum payment. And then finally, if it applies, I'll write down the balance just for my records. And then here I have March, which is going to be all my notes um, for bills for March. And usually, most likely, uh, as I start receiving my notifications for when my bills are due for March, I'll write them down here. Uh, but that is it. That is my monthly spread. Super easy. It's just four pages. Um, uh, this is my weekly that I don't know if I will... No, I'm not going to film this. <laughs> I have a lot, a lot of work to do and I already have two videos to edit. If you want to see how this one turns out, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I will probably do a midweek post on Wednesday to see how this is looking 
and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Uh, if you do take some inspiration from it, let me know. I'd like to see how you like switch things up um, because I love seeing that. I love seeing how people get creative with different layouts. Right. See you guys on the next one. Have a great day or night wherever you are and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.